this lesson we're going to visit another addition strategy and that is making numbers easier to work with or easy numbers. And it really means adjusting numbers so that they are easier to work with, easier to calculate mentally. Again, I'm giving you a huge variety of strategies here. And that is so that children have a wealth of strategies to choose from. They will probably choose a natural preference for one strategy or the other, but these different strategies can be used in different situations and your child may find that their preference may not actually be the most efficient or best strategy at that time. So they might choose one of these alternatives and it is really giving your child a range of alternatives that they can use and that they're secure with using so that they are prepared for every situation. So basically this strategy is all about adjusting the number so that it becomes easier to manage. So I've just put the calculation 35 plus 59 on here. We really want to be using this strategy when we've got numbers um, in the six, seven, eight bracket that are pushing up into the next multiple. So from 53 or from 56, 57, 58, 59, we don't want to be starting to add huge chunks of numbers or adjusting it massively. We're just adjusting it by small numbers. So really this strategy is for when a number is close to a multiple. So we're looking at 59 and it's very close to the multiple of 60, the next multiple, the next tens number. So we're basically going to adjust this 59 to make it easier. We're going to make it into 60 so that it's easier to work with, easier to add. So I'm going to add one to my 59 to get 60. Because I'm adding one on this side, I need to adjust my other side so that now it balances out. So I've added one here and I'm going to take one away here. So I've added one to my 59 to get 60 and I'm taking one away from my 35 to get 34 and immediately you can see how much easier this is to work with. They, your child may also now apply the partitioning strategy to this where they look at their six and their three, six tens, three tens, makes nine tens, makes the number 90 and then they just add their four on for their four units. Another calculation, 47 plus 28. Again, we are identifying that number that is near to the next multiple, near to the next tens number, and we're identifying the 28 as being very close to the next tens number. So we're adding two to make it into 30. Because we've added two, we need to take away two in order to balance that calculation out. So we 28 plus two makes 30. 47 take away 2 is 45 and again you can see that now we are just adding our tens numbers and our units and we're not bridging through that tens number. We're not having to change two units into tens and units. It's easy just to quickly add those together. So just talking through those steps again and it's good to have a little screenshot of those steps so that you can actually go over them again. Step one, identifying a number near to the next multiple of 10. So this is our calculation and we will identify 49 as our number that is near to the next multiple of 10. Step two, counting on to the next multiple. So adding on to get to that next multiple. So we know that the next multiple near to 49 is 50. So we know we have to add one to get 50. Adjusting on the other side to make sure that our calculation is balanced. So if we're adding one on one side, we're taking away one on the other side. And then finally, step four, calculating. And again, if you want to apply that partitioning strategy to that, that's absolutely fine. But now you've got the clear steps to talk through with your child. And again, get your child to identify those steps so that they actually know what they're doing. Talk through the strategies with your child and ensure their understanding. If they understand it and they have a very good understanding of it, they will feel confident when using it.